Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Ben Wood here from Strength to Endure, and today I'm just going to show you what I would expect everybody to have, okay, to uh, train from home. Now, the bare minimum for me, okay, would be a little bit of resistance equipment, okay, in the form of a resistance band, um, a kettlebell, or a good pair of dumbbells, okay. So just with that, okay, we can do we can do a lot, okay. So you can get a full body workout okay just with a resistance band and something heavy now if you don't have a resistance band or a kettlebell lying around at home okay as most people don't okay we can adapt and improvise uh, and it's very simple to do so what we're going to do is we're going to make a weight okay just out of a rucksack okay and some heavy books so i've got these great big uh like heavy tomes here Foundations of Sports Psychology, Essentials of Strength Conditioning. Okay, so these great big sort of like uh, textbooks that I have lying around at home. Okay, now I understand not everybody has these. However, everybody should have some books, magazines, okay. Small ones can, can be just as good as big ones, you just have to put more in. Okay, so I'm just going to put the books in the bag. Okay, zip up the bag. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, and from here I've got now, I've got a weight that I can use. Okay, so... For this, I can use it. I can use it for pulling motions. Okay, I can get it up on my chest. Okay, I can squat with this. Okay, I, I mean, especially if you've got a bag with handles. Okay, there's loads of stuff I can now do with this bag. Okay, to uh, replicate having an actual weight at home. Okay, so that's the first one. So if you don't have a kettlebell or a pair of dumbbells, okay, books in a bag. Books in a bag, preferably a rucksack, so you've got some handles. To hold on to as well okay now then the next bit of kit I was talking about okay would be a resistance band so I like to use these resistance bands like the, the, the great big long pull-up ones like this okay so I love to use them for uh, upper back exercises like pull aparts okay I like to use them for uh, rowing motions okay so from here okay rowing again it's very hard to work the upper back okay anything pulling unless you've got a pull-up bar or, or, or something to climb on uh, in your house. So the next best thing for me would just be a towel, okay? So with a towel, okay, you're not gonna be able to obviously uh, pull the towel. However, okay, we can work with just iso isometric exercises, which means we're not actually moving the towel, we're just, we're just pulling on it. So from here, uh, in banded rows would become an isometric hold. So pull there on the towel, okay? And I'm actually activating all the same muscle groups that I would be with the uh, resistance band or with a pair of dumbbells. Uh, however, I'm just uh, activating them uh, statically, so they're just tensing up. They're just tensing up, which is still going to get get me uh, get me benefits. Okay, so I'm still going to get stronger uh, training like that. Okay, training like that again. Okay, if I'm doing pull aparts, I just hold the towel here and then a bit of tension, hold. Okay, trying to pull that towel apart. And relax and again you know I can feel all the muscles that are supposed to be firing I can feel them feel them firing up as soon as I as soon as I do that so just with okay a bag filled with books water bottles anything heavy okay obviously water bottles filled with water okay anything heavy you can get into a bag okay and the beauty of this is you can make it as heavy or light as you want okay and a towel okay just with these two bits of kit okay you can get a good strength uh, 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 circuit strength session going on at home okay guys cheers